On today's video, we're going to show you five amazing redesign for local businesses, and you're going to learn so much about redesigning websites on this video. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to a web design before and after video. So on the last last month, so on October, we did a challenge for the Flux Academy students and we told them, hey, pick a local business, no matter where you live in the world and redesign their website in an effort to help small businesses, you know, with the whole COVID-19 situation, small businesses and local businesses are struggling. Let's try and help them by redesigning their website. And I've challenged them and told them that the winner are gonna win some AirPods Pro. So I want to show you, we got like over 50 redesigns. Many of them were so good. But on this video, I want to dive into five of the ones that I like the best and also declare the winner. I'm going to show you their presentation. They've actually explained the whole process of the redesign. I'm going to link below if you want to dive into the redesigns a little bit more because we're not going to have time to dive into each of them uh, with, with the appropriate time that you need to look into this. So if you want to see the presentation that I'll show you, check the link below this video. All right, let's dive into it. So the first redesign we got is from Alex and uh, he designed a before and after for this um, Frankie, Fancy Franks. So it's a hot dog, gourmet hot dog restaurant. So this is the website that they currently have. And those were the goals for him. So make more visitors want to click and convert into sales, tidy up the layout and create more inviting copy. By the way, tidying up the layout is, I don't know if that's kind of a business goal that is measurable, but let's see what Alex has did here. So he tried to list it out. What are the potential problems with the current website? And uh, the one thing that we can see is kind of the logo in the center. I don't know that that's a problem, but yeah, it is true that people get started looking at the top left. So that'll be easier to recognize. There are lots of items in the menu. That is pretty much true. It is pretty hard to read and see what's going on here. And it's also not a really a call to action. Um, and then basically just a very busy background. Um, so this is how he kind of breaks down the things that he thought can be improved to the website. Again, I'm gonna go, go through this pretty quickly because we got a lot to cover here, but let's dive into the solution. So. Here's the redesign. So you can see that he basically changed out the whole layout. He cleaned up all the left side here and he created a more simplified navigation, put the logo on the left, clarified a little bit, um, gave them a, a copy with kind of a very clear call to action and a call to action and a value proposition. It's way more readable now that it's split kind of uh, left and right. And in general, he kind of rearranged the layout from left to right instead of very long sections. And I think it looks really, really nice. So we can see here kind of like the before and after. So this is the whole new layout and I think it looks great. Well done, Alex. Let's move into the second redesign from Fernando. And this is for Clube de Pip. Pipoca, I think I'm not super strong on Portuguese, but this is basically a popcorn club, if I understand correctly. Um, let's see how this looks in the before. So this is the website. I don't know what small business for popcorn does, but apparently there is is such a thing. So they have a carousel here at the top. It's pretty hard to read the text here. Um, and then it's rotating. So this is basically kind of an e-commerce site, I can tell because I can see that, um, you know, there's the shopping cart here. And um, so let's see, Fernando lists the main issues. No useful headline to set the tone and explain what they're all about. The photos are nice, but they're not the best application. Inconsistent photography. So, whoa, he really broke down the problems here. So you can see that he really noted what's wrong and why. Now let's see the redesign. So if this was the before, bam, this is the after. This is really like a radical redesign. So first of all, it's pretty clear that it's this This is a popcorn brand now. Now it's very clear to see what they're selling. It's very clear to see now that it's an e-commerce website with the you know shopping cart here and the prices here. So here's he explaining what he did here. So in general, I went for a more modern current look, um, added animated interaction, which we can't see here, but he also sent me the Figma, added a card layout to display play the most important info and call to action. Anyway, this is really well thought out design and also a fantastic design. So if you wanna dive more into it, make sure to check the presentations in the link. 
Well done, Fernando. Really nice web design. All right, let's check the next one from Giuseppe. All right, so here's the before and after of a local business. What the hell is this? All right, let's continue here. All right, so he chose somebody that he actually knows. So he knew this founder of um, this company where this is an, actually a, an expert's website. And he started drilling down into what's, what are the problems here? So it's not really clear who he's trying to help. So this is for HR people, or for job uh, seekers. Who Who is this person and how is he going to help? So basically there's a lot of unclear text, a lot of a bunch of text here. Um, what is this lack of usability? So the full screen menu might be good for mobile, but it's less usable for desktop. All right, so let's check out the reading. Okay, so he also talked to the founder, uh, who's the mentor. He tried to understand really what are the goals with the website. All right, so let's see. So he was thinking first about the structure of the homepage. And this is really um, interesting to think about what should go there. What is the story that we're trying to tell here before we go into the design? It's a really smart way to approach a redesign. And uh, he liked the idea behind the logo. Okay, so he wanted to break the logo into kind of visual components that he could use. Chose a new font and color palette. And this is basically the redesign. Okay, so now it's very clear that we are your digital recruitment expert. And you can see he set up a new navigation, new shorter st statement, main call to action. And it's also sticky here in the nav bar and a brief intro to the company, of course, with logo for social proof. So this is a really nice web design. All right, Giuseppe, good work here. This website looks really, really good. All right. Let's move on to the next web design. So this is from Felixander Yuan, and he did the redesign of Joko Kurin. I'm not sure I can pronounce this name, but basically you log into this website, you don't even know wh what is this? I mean, I can see a bunch of logos here and a bunch of text, but what is this? So there are a lot of problems here. Also here, Yuan is also trying to break out and understand what is the story on this page? How much effort are you trying to uh, tell with each part of the website. So more than 50% of the website is just news and past events. So maybe this is not the right approach. Also, you know, the navigation can be improved. This whole logo thing can be improved. So a lot of things to work on. And he's using here stats from the Nielsen group, which is smart about, you know, people reading and how people read on the web. So that's a very smart way to think about and reason with your clients why you want to change something. And all right, let's see, let's see the redesign. All right, so bam, after, wow, okay, this looks like a completely different website. Now you can see that this is a personal website of this business consultant who's gonna help you create systems and brand for your business, very clear. All of the logos were you know, clarified here, um, up, made to look consistent by using a single color and the hierarchy is clear. So you first understand who this person is, connect with me, and then these only serve here as a social proof, as a third, you know, um, at the third hierarchy versus just being the first thing that you see is logos. Also, the navigation has been compressed. Colors have been uh, reduced and a very nice use of color. You can see main is this kind of gray. Uh, the secondary is the black and then a yellow kind of ascent to highlight and, uh, and give kind of extra touch to the website. So very, very nice and well-explained redesign. He's also took all of these news article and structured them into a, a little bit of a gallery, but more important, he brought in the numbers, which actually tells the story here. So let's see the overall redesign. All right, so obviously before and after, and also the structure. So take a look here. It was mainly just a carousel and then a bunch of images. Now it actually tells a story with the number and the services and everything that a website actually needs to convert visitors into, um, into customers. And also it's 15% shorter. Really, really nice web design and really, really nice structure. And thinking about this, Yuan, really, really great work. And the last redesign and also the winner of this challenge 
goes to Nadira, who has redesigned the website for AWWA. AWWA is a social service agency, so it's basically a nonprofit um, that helps multiple demographic. Let's see the website before. So first of all, goals, increase donor conversion rate, enhance donor relationship, and lead generation. All right, let's see the before. So this is the before. Kind of looks like either like a template or a very blank um, page. Not too much designed here and not too much, um, wait, let's go into the goal here. While there is kind of a donate button here, there's not much going on to actually convince you to donate and the form so there is no donation here on the homepage to begin with, or it's just the newsletter. Let's see the redesign. So here's the redesign. First of all, completely looks like an upgraded brand, looks way, way better, more images telling the story, how we can help. And then this is uh, one section to a donation, kind of showing the progress. And then another section for a donation really easy give you, gives you the options to make donations. So very donation focused and very visual focused, right? Uh, the, the, the focus is on, on images versus just a bunch of texts. This is the newsletter has been way reduced. And uh, let's see the structure. Let's see the process of this. So here, um, Nadira put them actually side by side so that we can understand what what was done here. So first, clear headline to make it more powerful, main call to action to donate, prominent call to action, replace the carousel uh, to, to show all images at once. I'm I'm a big hater of carousels on the front of home pages. I think if you want to show something, just show it. Don't just confuse people. Uh, this is definitely gives a better experience. Um, what I really, really liked here is how she thought about the whole donation area, right? How to increase donation conversion rate. So redesign the whole thing. Uh, um, dedicated sections showing amount raised and share campaign update in real time to create urgency and strong call to action. So this is really a nice effective way to design showing the 300 um, students are empowered so far because 30% has been charged. So you can really feel like by donating, you're moving that bar into the next step. You're helping more people. So this is a really nice and effective design. And this one as well here. So uh, seamless and fuss-free donation experience, five clicks max uh, to complete the donation transaction, mobile friendly. This uh, section is really, really nice uh, donation component. Anyway, I think this is a really, really fantastic redesign by Nadira, and it is the winner of the October Flux Academy Students Challenge. And Nadira, you're winning the Apple AirPods Pro. I recommend all of you to go check out these full presentation and dive into them to learn more about the reasoning and how to explain your potential customers or your clients that you're working with right now, why you are approaching the design in a certain way. This really shows you how to communicate the reasoning for why you're choosing specific design decisions. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you wanna learn more about web design, you're also uh, welcome to explore our programs on Flux Academy. The link will be below as well. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.